There is nothing better than a warm bowl of soup on a cold day. And so you're going to love today's recipe. We love making copycat recipes. And so today I'm gonna to show you how to make Panera bread tomato soup at home. eatingonadime.com and we're on a mission to help families eat well on a budget and copycat recipes do just that so a copycat recipe is where we take a restaurant recipe that you can get and we try to recreate it at home to have the similar flavors now they're copycats not exact and sometimes our recipes are even better. Now, you can find today's recipe linked in the description below, or you can just go to Google and type in Eating on a Dime Panera Bread Soup and it will come right up, or Panera Bread Tomato Soup. But also, we've released a copycat digital cookbook, and it has a ton of copycat restaurant recipes for you to try, and we have a really nice discount linked in the description for you as well. First, we're gonna need a quarter of an onion. I had a half an onion left over from another recipe. So now we're just gonna dice this up. We want it really small because you know tomato soup is really creamy. So we're gonna dice this into small pieces. I'm doing it a little bit different than I normally do because I'm wanting them almost like shaved. They want you to know that this is delicious. I've got the onion finely chopped and that is the hardest part of this whole recipe. We're gonna head to the stove and finish cooking this. Over medium high heat, we're gonna add two tablespoons of olive oil. Then we're gonna throw in that diced onion and we're gonna let this saute until soft. This will take about five to eight minutes or so just to get those nice and translucent and soft. Then we're gonna add a tablespoon of garlic and I like to wait and add it right before the onions are done so we don't risk burning the garlic. I'm just gonna saute that around for about a minute. And you should start smelling the garlic. Mmm, smells really good. Now I'm going to add two cans of whole peeled tomatoes. Now these are the 20 ounce, 28 ounce cans. It's those really big cans that you can find in the grocery store. You can use fresh tomatoes if you want to, but this is, you know, we're doing a copycat for Panera. And so we're using these canned tomatoes. I kind of like to break them up just a little bit with my spoon and we're gonna get this heated through. Now we're gonna add one cup of chicken broth or you could use vegetable broth. Two tablespoons of sugar. A teaspoon of dried, ba sorry, dried oregano and dried basil, and then salt and pepper. And then we're gonna mix this all together. Now we're going to bring this to a low simmer. And so I'm turning it down to like, well, I'm gonna wait until it gets up to a little bit of a boil, and then I'm gonna turn it down and we're gonna let this simmer for about 12 minutes, 12 to 14 minutes until everything is cooked through and those tomatoes are soft. So we've been simmering for quite a while and as you can see, there's a completely different consistency. We still have the chunks, but it's a lot thicker and a lot of the tomatoes are broken down. So we've turned it off and now you take an immersion blender to blend this up. If you don't have an immersion blender, which mine broke, so I don't have one currently, you can use a blender and just gently place this in a blender and blend it up until smooth. Okay, it's all blended and back in the pot and creamy, smooth, that's the word I'm looking for. Now we're gonna add a one cup of heavy cream. Now you could lower this if you want to, to save on some of the fat content. Ooh, and then we're just gonna mix this up. Now you can add this before you blend it up or you can stir it in after you blend it up. I kinda like to stir it in after you blend it up because it's really fun <laughs> to watch, I don't know, silly little things in life. And then you end up with this delicious, creamy soup. Ooh, I'm so pumped about this. Now all we're gonna do is serve this with some croutons and some Parmesan cheese. All that's left is to spoon it up. Now just like Panera, they always serve it with a couple croutons in the middle, so I've got me some croutons. Now we're just using store-bought ones, but you can do our homemade croutons. We have a really good recipe on eating on a dime. 
as well. I'm trying to find the most perfect ones. Usually they do three in the center and then they um, pop it with some Parmesan cheese. You can just do pre-shredded or you can do some fresh and do a little extra if you want to. Okay, now it's time to try it out. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Mm. Wow. Dare I say it? Better than Panera Bread tomato soup? Mm. Yeah. I'm sorry guys, I know I'm supposed to be talking to you, but I'm eating. Mm. Okay guys, that's it. That's how easy this is. Dinner's done. Make this for dinner, make it for lunch. Well, the thing I love about it is this freeze is great. You can freeze this up. We have a whole post on eating on a dime on how to freeze soup. I love that because then you can just heat it up real quick for a quick lunch or a quick dinner and serve it with a grilled cheese or a salad if you want to be healthy. Um, but yeah, it's really good. Make sure you can find, uh, you can grab the full recipe. I have it linked in the description for you, or you can go to Google and just type in Eating on a Dime Panera Bread Tomato Soup. Or if you want to, just go to Eating on a Dime and type in Panera Bread. We have several copycat recipes. Now, if you love copycat recipes, don't forget, we have our copycat restaurant copycat recipes digital cookbook linked in the description for you right now at a really low price for you. Okay, I'm out of here, guys. If you love today's recipe, please subscribe. Don't forget to like and leave a comment because we love hearing from you. Thanks so much for joining me. I'll see you next time for another delicious, family-friendly recipe. Bye! Oh. Mm. Yep, the puppies agree. You should subscribe. Bye, friends.